somebody missed on team one but at least we got us a team two with allegra as a fire mage we got ourselves broton as a boomy we got us a salini as more of a sub rogue yandex as a dk and first up is going to be blake versus palm tree two fury warrior rolling in gonna get mortal coiled out storm bolted on blake but it's actually getting melted by the full army of demons and blakeman just rolled over that boy no fear on the pets or nothing he did drop down in, in rage regeneration but couldn't really do much about it gonna be our work up next and all the pets just ran at him for like a second all of them just did one auto attack and Arky is already at about half his health which is kind of crazy are he tried to see if he might be able to get himself a bit of a reset here stun onto all those pets does get it that's gonna be earth elemental as well as ghost all sorts of black man is gonna yeah, they kind of broke the ghost of animation. It looks like you're just sliding around. <laughs> it looks like a toy. <laughs> just kind of sliding. Blake, man, trying to see if you bail out of there. Gonna be Arky. Try to go for a big old port, but that's gonna be a stun interrupt. Won't be able to port for a bit. Lockdown and shadow for a moment. Wind strikes are not really getting the biggest value here, though. Which is really unfortunate because he needs to really get on the side of the enemy. Does catch up back to Blake for a second. Those pets are actually doing quite a bit of work. Double fell guard is quite spooky right now for a shaman to deal with gonna be summon tyrant loading up or he's gonna have a lot of damage to deal with he's gonna have himself plenty of healing with the wall available does have the maelstrom as long as he's got the man up he should be able to outlast the output of damage from blake for quite a bit as long as he got those casts that he could do from time to time he'll be a-okay Try to maintain himself as much as possible blake sending out even more demon dogs or he does have some heals here and there Try to get another Sunder, but second time the Sunder lined up so perfectly with the port. Actually, I think they're about same cooldown, so as long as Blakeman uses it on cooldown, Arhi, if he's cl close enough for melee, they'll probably try to use it on cooldown. Twice in a row that happened now. Gonna be a Sunder to Arhi as Blakeman tearing up even more pets up and running. Arhi really needs someone right now. He really needs some help. That's gonna be a Sunder to Mortal Core, just a unable to touch Blakeman half the time. Worst of worst, he does have all the uh, all these demons that he could just turn around on and just you know it's a maelstrom. Because as long as he's got mana and it's got a five sec maelstrom, he shouldn't die. As long as he's like not getting blasted with a one shot, he shouldn't he shouldn't die. I'm hoping here. Ten minutes into the duel, thirty five percent dampening. Arhiorg again trying to go for some big ascendance damage, and it's going to be Mortal Coil putting him away. Most likely going to be a port out of Blake. Try to see if he can stop. Then you got a port. Fear coming down does not bring Tremor it. For Arhiorg just trying to overlap those cooldowns on top of one another, and it looks like he's just having such a hard time versus Blake. Just so much survivability for this warlock. Is it going to be a stun to Arhi with a tyrant up and running? If he can somehow lock down Arhi or this is going to have a wall for it. Does Arhi run? He actually decides to stay and fight. Looks like he's actually going to try to use the spells to maybe do more single target damage. Wait, he's actually tearing through Blakeman right now out of nowhere. Blakeman actually super low health. Wait a second, Arhi does take. Oh my goodness. Arhi, my man. Oh my goodness. Did I call that or what, dude? Did I call that or what? That was actually nuts. Did I call that or what, dude? Actually crazy. <laughs> I told him, like, if he just goes Shadow Crash while the pets are around, his single target is going to get even better with a Storm Strike. And he literally did just that. Walled it and just kept funneling. Damn, dude. Walled it and just kept funneling. Arkin, though, versus Yandex up next, dude. After a long duel versus the Warlock. A DK with no mobility is going to be nice change of pace for our hero. In fact, it's actually fast with a Death Knight. Trying to go for a bit of mobility. Trying to get away from all those groups. Yandex is playing Spell Warden. So every time Arhi does da magic damage, which is quite a lot of damage, is uh, magic damage. Is going to give him a shield. Which I got to still check if that shield is only absorbing magic damage or is that just full absorb? I guess I got to look at Glyph of Spell Warden, right? I got to look at Sp Glyph of Spell Warding uh wow dk rune of spell warden yeah i need to see what that does it gives a 10 percent of your maximum health the enemy damages the shield casper is reduced by 10 percent so is it just a shield just a plain old like is it just a plain shield a m absorbs magic damage equal to oh it's a shield that absorbs magic damage okay no mind just want to make sure so it does is this a shield that absorbs magic damage so when you get hit by a magic spell you get a shield for, against magic which makes sense but it also does 
Cast speed reduced by 10% for 6 seconds when an enemy hits you with while the shield is up. So I guess it does have some uh, anti-magic caster priority. Gonna be Onyx taking lots of damage. Spell Warden does get proc. But the wind strikes are just blasting the boy out of the water. Allegro is up next. He stood kind of next to a wall, but I guess he's... Uh, I guess he's close enough. Is going to be an interrupt onto that hex. Or he's going to take lots of damage. Wand his damage off. Try to see if he can survive. Big chain harvest onto Allegra as he got himself plenty of self heals. Try to see if he can doorway or shadows too. Allegra does go for an interrupt on the fire. That's still goes so swirling for just a minute there. That's going to be ice buck for Allegra. Is Arhi or going to be coming back here, boys? Is he bringing it back? As an enhanced shaman, so I'm playing the good old enhanced. Dude. No new honor towns from him, I don't think. Can somebody actually peep uh, Arhi orcs on a talent? Yo, Christina. Let me screenshot just so I can see if he's running anything new at all. Because I haven't really noticed much. Gonna be a deep eye into a ice ring of ice with frost bolts for Allegra. Trying to get some slots for Arhi. He just needs a little bit more mail. So he has plenty of mana to work with. All the time is up. Could start purging if he wants to. Allegra, does he have all the time purge? It looks like he does have all the time purge off of him. So he's not gonna get any kind of healing off it. Which is really good for Arhi. Denying any kind of healing for the mage. Try to see if he can hex him. Get him locked out. As Lego just going for fireballs. Which is giving him that combustion back quicker. By a couple of seconds. Shaving off the cooldown. Arhi does go pretty low on health. Though. I think a battle match trigger is down. He needs to have plenty of healing. Brad to follow. Does he have a heal? Trying to get a healing surge. He has no mails from those things. He's percent damage. But I think it's just putting him in a bad, bad spot. And Allegra does end up taking him out. Very interesting how that went. Very interesting. Going to be Allegra trying to go for a bit of a reset. That's going to be Christina going for a restell themselves as well. The Conjure refreshments up for Allegra. Christina walking into the flame patch. Still giving himself a little bit of a heal though. I mean, still giving himself stealth. Allegra is definitely going to have that cauterized proc in any time soon right now. It's going to be a ring of frost. Does he have enough health though? Oh, he actually might. Oh, he's eating. He's trying to chow down, dude. 65% dampening, though. That's not going to give you a lot of healing. He's trying to use mobility to get the hell away from Christina. If we can just deny a restuff for Christina, he might be in an okay spot. Earth Souls around the corner. Does not deny the Feral reset. Is going to human racial out of it. Breath of Christina. With Meteor coming down. Big combustion ready to go. That Meteor almost plenty of damage between Kiss God and Christina. But Kiss God does move out of the way. All the time is up for Allegra. He's going to have the... <laughs> if only he all the time just a little bit earlier, right as... Cauterize was done for the count. He might have been okay, but that's gonna be seed pod. The altar time doesn't really help you in that seed pod at all. And Christina is gonna go into bear form to give himself a bit of reset. Looks like Broton might be next as another druid. Playing the balance versus Christina. Both of them are in the south. Might be looking for the eyes though. We are a 70% dampener. Broton is looking for Christina. If you can maybe somehow find him. I think he more or less knows where he's at. I'm surprised that Thrash didn't get him. That's going to be a minute CD on that Christina's Convoke. It's only a, like a two second channel. That's going to be a roar by Broton. Got himself Tormented Insight versus Christina. Oh, you're playing the, the Mastery Trinket? He actually did damage to himself and now he has a Giga Mastery. This is going to be a reset for Christina. Broton is going to have the... Oh, Starburst. Oh, he's got a Cyclone onto Christina. He needs to walk towards the Starburst for Christina. These Starbursts actually guarantee they're kind of sponsored so far, don't they? We're so by Christina, not letting Broton do anything. The Starburst on a town, I believe you want to walk near them. As soon as you see where a Starburst spawns, you want to stand where a Starburst is as a boomy. If you're going to be trying that on a town, they're not going to drop on top of you. They're going to be in another location. So if you have to like disengage to them with wild charge and boomy form or something, anything, you will want to watch them. And also, it looks like you can pick them up, so they'll like rotate around you. So if you pick up a bunch of Starbursts and the Feral keeps sending you, they'll just take damage. It's like a Giga Thorns. I like the fact that he's trying the new talent, but you have to walk next to them. It only does damage if the enemy walks over the Starbursts. Shackles are going to use versus sell any. It looks like it's going to do a bit of damage and also a little bit of health to Chronic Doubt. It's going to go for a kidney shot onto Christina. It went the blind right after as the trick comes out. Selenia looking for the reset. Shadow is no longer used to use. Selenia is playing the shorter CD on some of those offensives. Like the Vanish, the Shadow Blades, the Faint. It does give him like a 10% damage reduction, but it does also give him a very, very short CD on those things as well. Looks like Selenia is uh, DC'd. Or is out of the game. Rest in peace. Not really sure what happened. Might have DC'd at the end. But our Heorg, man, after that long of a game, that's a lot of healing, dude. That is a ton of healing, man. That is actually insane.